and the earth. You are the Lord, you are the Lord. Let your name. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Powerful, powerful. A blessed morning to you, dear starter. It is another blessed Wednesday, and I believe you had a good rest, and you are up again, even to join us here on Start and Stare. And I believe your life will never be the same again. Amen. Dear one, please share the link, and tell your loved ones, your family members, share it on platforms, and let them know that the Lord is doing something here on Start and Stare. Let them join in for just 30 minutes, and they shall have a testimony indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, our scripture for consideration will be taken from Genesis chapter number 28, verse number 16. It's the midweek edition. Um, Genesis chapter 28, verse number 16. Share the link. Genesis chapter 28, verse number 16. Genesis 28, verse number 16. And I read. It says, then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I did not know it. Hey. 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 And Jacob arose from his sleep. Hey. He arose from his sleep. Hey. And he said, Surely, Surely. God was in this place. And I didn't know it. Hey. Today I pray for you. Jesus. May you encounter God in this day. Jesus. May you encounter God in this house. Amen. May you encounter God in this family. Amen. May you encounter God in this marriage. Amen. I don't know where you find yourself. Amen. And you'll be beginning to feel Amen. that God is not there with you. Amen. But I came to announce to you and also to remind you Amen. that God in this place. God is in this place. Amen. God is in this house. Amen. God is in that business. Amen. God is in that education. Amen. That course you have started. Amen. That business you have started. Amen. That ministry you have started. Amen. God is in that place. Amen. And I pray, Amen. starting today, Amen. throughout 2024, Amen. may you experience Amen. the manifestation Amen. of God's presence Amen. with you Amen. wherever you are. Amen. Shout your loudest. Amen. Amen. Oh, give God a hand. Mayakato Shata. Hey! People of God, listen. This man Jacob, at this point, is not even supposed to be a good man. This man Jacob is not supposed to be a man encountering the presence of the Lord. What has happened? Uh, before this, his father Isaac was inching towards his death. And his father wanted to give the birthright blessing as it is in the norm of the Israelites to his son Esau. But through prophetic direction and the word of God, his mother went to him and said, your father is about giving the blessing, so rise up and go for it. He went in through dubious means and took the blessing, and then after he took the blessing, his brother, the rightful owner of the blessing, came onto the scene and the, on the scene and the father said I have already blessed your brother hey. and since then his brother Esau had been chasing after him I don't know what you have done I don't know the mistakes you have done I don't know the wrongs you have done that has caused the enemy to be pursuing you that has caused the enemy to be following after you but I came to announce to you God is against sin but for the sinner, he came to die for you. Therefore, you will encounter God in the condition in which you are. However you are, you are in the perfect place to encounter God. May you experience the presence, the power, the glory of God in your life right now. In this stage, in this place. Shout your loudest amen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Send out the fire emojis. Share the link. Let us know you are with us. Ladies and gentlemen, on his runaway journey, he got to a place where he needed to rest because night had fallen. And the Bible says he put a stone as pillow and laid on and slept. Ladies and gentlemen, by the time the guy would wake up, he had had a dream. And the dream, there was a ladder with angels ascending and descending. And he, when he awoke, he said, God was in this place. And I didn't know. Hey. I don't know where you have gotten to. Some problems of your life 
has caused you to become unconscious of the presence of God. So even though God is with you, you are asleep to his presence. You are unconscious to his presence. But I came to announce to you, in your dream and in your subconsciousness, may the Lord manifest himself. The Lord wanted to tell him that I am with you and prove to him that he is at the wrong place, at the right place, at the right time. When the presence of God manifests, number one, you become calm. Whatever agitation it is within you, you will eventually become calm. I don't know what is causing you to be agitated in your life, agitated in your health. But when the presence of God comes and manifests and you know that God is with you, you become calm. Uh, may you have peace in your life. May you have calmness in your life. When God manifests himself with you, you become confident. Hey, people will never forgive you for the mistakes you have made, for the sins you have committed. But aside what people will say, if God manifests himself with you, you become very confident. And you can say, even in my errors, if God is with me, then I have an opportunity to do right. May the Lord manifest himself with you. May you have the confidence amen. of the Lord. Amen. Clap your hands and shout your loudest. Amen. amen. Uh, number three. When the Lord manifests his presence with you, you become composed. The things that are scattered in your life, you cannot have the confidence to put them together. You are composed. You see, when you are going through stuff and there are tongues of judgment against you, your mind is somewhere. Your body is somewhere. Your intellectual capacity is somewhere. The things you can do, you cannot do them. Why? Because you are scattered. But when in your scattered situation, God put, comes and manifests himself to you, ladies and gentlemen, you become composed. You cannot put yourself together. Can I hear an amen here? The Bible says, at the Red Sea, they were confused because death was coming. But when the prophet spoke, the first thing he said is, be still. Be calm, and you will see the salvation of the Lord today. And that brought comfort. Those who were scattered and were going haywire, they were able to put themselves together. If you are ready to pray with me, lift your voice and begin to bless the name of the living God. Any situation in your life that is causing you to be scattered, Father Lord, we are going to pray that Lord, let it give way. But now we are saying, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we exalt you for who you are, for what you are doing in our lives, for the chances and opportunities you are giving us. Even though we don't look like those who deserve them, we pray, Lord, that you shall, O oh God, be glorified in our very lives. In the name of Jesus, Rabo Shakata. Repande Katosha, Recada da 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 da, Masanda Bado, Meriande Seta, Beluande Belu, Madre Katusa, Lima Kaya da da da, Rade Satosha, Rika Paya da Baho, Masende Beli Ados, Recanda Badesa, Yeporiande, we honor you, we give you praise give you glory we give you adoration we honor you for our children for our families for our sons for our daughters we say be glorified we say your name be praised we say your name be glorified my da 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 we bless your name we exalt your name we declare your majesty in the name of jesus Yes, and da 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 ha. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the power name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, because of his sins, because of his mistakes, because of what he had done, he was conscious of his weakness more than the presence of God. First prayer topic. Oh Lord. Oh my Father. Say, my Lord and my God. This morning, as I pray, Grant me the grace to remain in the consciousness of your presence with me. Oh Lord, grant me the grace 
to remain in the consciousness of your presence with me. Oh Lord, any problem, any mistakes, past mistakes, and past sins that is causing me to remain in the judgment of my mistakes. Father Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, grant me the grace to remain in the consciousness of your presence with me. Lift your voice and me to pray. Mama Mado Shatada Brandelebe, Repaya da 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 I pray for grace. I pray for grace in the name of Jesus. Ayekatobia, Rekatomesa, Rekatobia, Remasutaye, Remasutaye, Remasotia in the name of Jesus. Help me, O God, to remain in the consciousness of your presence with me and my house. Help me remain in the consciousness of your presence. Let me know, let me be in the mind that you are with me and you will never forsake me in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, my yellow boat, my yellow boat. Masokata Rebandaba Rebasotaya in the Belianda throughout today. Oh Lord, help me, O oh God, to remain in the consciousness of your presence with me. We pray, O oh God, throughout this year 2024, help me to remain in the consciousness of your presence with me. And Jacob said, So the Lord was in this place uh, and I didn't know my yekatori andaba reka papa yedesha maseta da bayada ele paduri andebe makori andebe imasandare ipadori ande yakatadaba in the name of Jesus oh lord uh, grant me the grace uh, to remain in the consciousness uh, of your presence uh, with me uh, and my house uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus uh, through the day, through this week, uh, and beyond, uh, through the month, uh, and beyond, uh, through the year, and beyond, uh, in the name uh, of Jesus, Makaya da 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 baya, Rekapaya da da baya, in the name of, Jesus. in the mighty name of, Jesus. in the powerful name of, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Say, my Father, my Maker, in a storm. In any problem, any problem that will arise, that will arise to, take to take my attention, my attention from, your from your presence with me, with me. Father, Lord, Father Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord let that storm let that lose, its lose its power over my consciousness, over, my consciousness, over, your, presence, over your presence with me. With Shout me. your loudest, amen. Yeah. The, oh, come on, come on. Uh, the Bible says that the man Peter saw Jesus walking on the water. He said, if it is you, let me come to you walking on the water. And he began to walk. But when the storm blew, he shifted his attention from Christ unto the storm. And he began to sink. 2024, no problem, no storm will shift your attention from Christ Jesus. Say, oh Lord, in the storm, in the situation, Shifting my attention, any hardship, shifting my attention from you, from the cross, from the blood, from your saving power. As I pray, oh Lord, let that storm lose their power over my mind, over my mind, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as I pray and I clap, no storm will shift my attention from your presence from your power from your glory in the name of jesus lift your voice and me to pray father in the name of jesus 
this year and beyond. I pray, oh God, no storm of life will blow my attention from what you can do, from who you are, for you are faithful, for you are faithful. Even when we are not faithful, Lord, you are faithful. Therefore, I pray when the storms of life come against me, they will not take my attention from you. I will arise and I will say, the Lord is with me. In the name of Jesus, the storms of life, the issues of life, when my plans do not go well, may I not forget that the Lord is with me. When my projections uh, do not go well, uh, may, I, may I not forget that the Lord is with me. When the things I plan to do, when my job uh, is not given uh, the things they are supposed to get, I pray, Lord Jesus, may I not forget that you are God. You are God. You are Emmanuel. You are Emmanuel. As your name is, uh, so you are. You are always with us. You will never leave us. Now forsake us uh, in the times uh, and the seasons uh, of threatens of the enemy against our life. Uh, may we not forget that you are with us. Uh, Father Lord, when divorce is threatening in marriages, uh, may the couple not forget uh, you are with them. Uh, Father Lord, uh, when the students uh, are struggling uh, in the academics, uh, May that struggle not cause them to forget uh, that you are with them. Uh, we pray, oh God, when people are swayed uh, by evil influences uh, and they are stuck, uh, may they not forget uh, that you are with us. Uh, for your presence uh, is not limited. Uh, oh Lord, oh Lord, uh, let no storm, uh, let no issue, uh, let no problem, uh, let no disease. Uh, let no disease, let no sickness, let no bad news cause us to forget that you are with me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may I remain in the consciousness of your presence with me. Oh Lord, my Father, my Maker, my Lord and my God, no storm will take my attention from you in the name of Jesus. 2024. When the storms arise and the winds blow and the bad news come, they are coming to meet not you alone, but they are coming to meet you with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. I came to tell you, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, you get back in. You get back in. Divine back in. Supernatural back in. Divine back in. Supernatural back in. God will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Come on, shout fire. Oh, give the Lord a hand. Ayaka Asadaba. Guess what? He got to a certain place. It is a place he was not used to. It was a place he was not familiar with. It was a place his father has not introduced him to. So he thought God was only in his father's house. Uh, but what he didn't know, that God is the omnipresent God. As you are entering the interview room, God is there. As you are entering the examination room, God will be there. So in Royal House Chapel, we say, before you even come, the king has already been waiting for you. 2024, before you enter February, the king is waiting. Before you enter March, April, May, June, July, August, the king will be there waiting for you with miracles, signs and wonders. Clap your hands and shout yes. yes. Hallelujah. When you get to certain places and it feels like God is not there, I came to announce to you, God does not operate by networks, but he operates by his spirit. And he can be everywhere at every time. When you come to a place where you can't feel the presence of God, don't doubt that he is there. Say, oh Lord, when I get into places, when I get into situations where I can't feel, I can't tell, you are there. Show me signs. Manifest your presence with me. Say, Lord Jesus, when I come to a place 
Why there is no money in my pocket? Why there's no money in my account? Manifest your presence. Oh Lord, when I come to a place where my marriage is going through a storm, when my business is struggling, manifest your presence with me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my father, my fighter, when I come into a place in this year in my family and I can't feel you, let there be a manifestation, a proof of your presence. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Are you praying? Are you adoring something like prayer? There is a place in your life. There are seasons in your life where it seems you are all alone. But in those days, may the Lord manifest His presence with you through your dreams, through prophetic word, through the logos, through the reading of the word. Eradiate, semi drop and pensuobi. Na ekoye se mi nyati kase wo kamehua. Eradiate, Kenya me ho ho mo. Mami soda ye bi. Mami nya edi sembi. Semi kain wa semua. Mami nya edi ye. Se wo nya me wo kamehua. Da wo hua di. Etre me. I will yes to dream of. Lift your voice up. You are saying, when I come to a place, when I come into a situation where I cannot tell and I cannot feel you around, manifest, manifest your presence, manifest your presence with me in the name of Jesus. When I am broken, when we are broken, when we can feel that men have left us, when we can feel men have left us, oh Lord, my God, my Father, my Maker, oh Lord, let us experience a manifestation of your word, a manifestation of your presence, a manifestation of your power in the name of, in the mighty name of one of the things that cause us to forget God is with us. It's a constant reminder of our sins. Come on now. It's a constant reminder of our mistakes. There are people positioned to constantly remind you that you are a sinner. Even though your mistake is five years old. Jesus said, I brought it out. But they are reminding you. Say, oh Lord. In the system. Reminding me of my weakness. And causing me to forget the presence of God. Let that system be broken. Any tongue, any tongue of judgment, any tongue of accusation, any voice of the accuser raising, activated against me to remind me and to push me into the consciousness of my sin. Father Lord, as I pray, I break it. That evil tongue. I silence them. Lift your voice and me to pray. My ya 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 ya. Make a tori and baya. Make a papa ya da da. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. And a voice. And a voice of the enemy. And a voice of the accuser. Constantly reminding you of your mistakes. Of your misfortunes. Causing you to focus on only your inability and forget about what God can do with you in the name of Jesus. We pray, let that thing be broken. Let that voice be shattered and be silenced in the name of Jesus. And the voice of the enemy reminding us of our filthy garment, reminding us of our mistakes, reminding us of our errors that we cannot focus on the grace focus on the mercy we pray by the blood let them be silenced let the blood speak for us let the blood speak for us let the blood speak for us in the name of jesus by the power by the efficacy of the blood mayoka tadaba imatori andaba reperi andaba adeli andaba ikatosha arebe azute mazanda Biakotos, Beliandaba, Ikatosa, Maderiande, our Father, 
our maker, let the voice of our accusers be silenced. Let the voice of our accusers be shattered in the name of Jesus. But let us hear the voice of mercy, the voice of grace, the voice of love in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the redeeming name of Jesus. In the delivery name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give God the hand. Wow. Makaya Bade Ando Shata. God bless you, dear starter, for joining us for another episode. This Wednesday, may your day be prosperous. May you walk in the consciousness of God with you. Why the things are too much have got into a place that you cannot just phantom God with you. May God manifest his presence with you. And I pray, any tongue of accusation, reason against you, to suppress you, to break you down, and to remind you of all the things that are wrong. May the Lord cause the voice of mercy to echo in your heart, in your spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Once again, we are in the week of the altar 2024. My dear, I, I hope I hope you are fasting, you know. I hope you are praying, you know. I hope you are fasting, you know. We are joining the Apostle General again. We are in the final lap. We are in the final week. It will be over soon and the glory of the Lord shall be released and you shall start working in manifestation of your sacrifice of prayer on the altar of the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Do want to join us again 5.30 with Apostle General and online um, in person at the Oil Dome and online on Powerline TV. Apostle General Sam Kratiankra on social media handles. Check it out and your life will never be the same. Amen. God richly bless you. My name is Reverend Carl K. Call me the revivalist. Do have a stirred up day. Yeah. <laughs>